Viewer discretion is advised. I started shooting when I was real young. Uh, as I got older, I shot competitively and even had the opportunity to train at the Olympic Training Center for a few years. It's a great hobby to have, especially because it's so applicable to uh, law enforcement. We're getting a second call now, reporting that the male is beating his dog. It's a pit bull. They're standing there, he's trying to hang on. We're uh, headed to a call. An unknown person called in saying that they are seeing a person beating a dog with a belt. So we're going to see what's going on. What's going on? Can you come talk to me for a sec? Is this your dog over here? Okay. Do me a just put your stuff down. Okay. I got a report that you're over here hitting this dog. What's going on? Um, I'm just trying to get a dog with that. So you weren't? Right were you grabbing at the, the collar? Or? Yeah, I got to get it inside the gate. Okay. All right. Do you have your uh, ID on you at all? No, I don't. Okay. Can you do, just do me a favor and have a seat, please? Can I actually list all of this full, please? What? Is your dog okay? Yeah, she's fine. Why is she shaking? Because I just gave her a bath. You know, okay. Look, yeah. The hell is right there. Okay. Glass of water. Do ha just have a seat. Keep your hands in your pockets, please. Do you have your ID on you? No, I do not. Okay. What's your name? Can I actually what is this for? I, like I said, we got a report that you're over here trying to hurt your dog. We're just making sure. We're just making sure everything's good. Okay, but I need to ID. I need to ID you. Because we're doing an official investigation. You're the person that I need to talk to about it. All I need is your name and your date of birth. I'm not. I have no questions to answer. Okay, that's fine. But I need your uh, name and date of birth. Okay. Are you arrested right now? What did he identify? You were a part of okay. the investigation. Put your hands behind your back. How am I part of the investigation? This is not making sense. Y'all violating my rights. Why are you violating my rights? Why are you violating my rights? Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Stop resisting. I'm telling you. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. shaken. I said, sir, you're under an investigation regarding the dog abuse. I need your name and your date of birth. I said it a couple times. He refused. I went to go take custody of him. 
He pulled away, he ran in the house, and then the fight was on. We're gonna have to go back, identify who he is, and, and go from there. I'm gonna call the witnesses from back at the station right. and right, see I'll what's going on. Oh. We do, we need someone to check out that yeah, dog still, though. Dog. Did we call her, see if the animal shelter's okay. open? Okay. Obviously, you're the one that called. Can you tell me a little bit about what you saw? Um, me and my friend were looking at my living room window, and we saw the gentleman with his dog, and he was giving it a bath at first, but then he brought it onto his porch, and he was, like, dragging it by the leash to the point where he was, like, taking it off the ground, and we, like, he took a belt, and we saw he started hitting the dog, and it was yelping, like, very clearly that we could hear it. Did you see him hit the dog? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And the dog kept yelping? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for calling and I really I really appreciate you uh, you know going out there and you know looking out mm -hmm. for that dog safety so yeah. appreciate it. No problem. Dog's gonna go to the animal shelter tonight he's gonna get checked out and right. the guy's gonna go to jail tonight for hitting the dog and fighting with us. My family suffered a very personal tragedy. I lost an 18-year-old daughter to a drunk driver. Her name was Ashley and what brings me to work every day is Ashley and I one foot in front of the other in her memory to do everything I can to go out there and make a difference. I'm going to a uh, weapons call, a disturbance in an upper apartment. Uh, one of the parties involved probably uh, has a knife is what they're reporting right now. It is the female where the knife is upstairs in the upper apartment. Did hey, you tell us what happened? I called because this is my daughter and her husband they, they're getting married Saturday, but they had their wedding party today because they can't get married till Saturday. They had it out at Ashwabame Park. They came back here and we they had brought fr five friends with us. Yeah, okay. and everybody was just minding their own business out here. But the guy upstairs was drunk, really drunk and acting stupid, and we asked him to please leave us alone in this private. Go. So you guys were started fighting upstairs? Chaz, her husband. Mm -hmm. That's my husband, the one in the back. The yeah, they were wrestling. That each other. Is that why he's laying down? To it hit might be. Um, because we got in an argument and then he tried to push me down the steps. He's still upstairs? Yes, he is. And then that's when my husband got into it with him because he tried to push me. Okay. And then his two wow. friends came down. The girl that stayed, has been staying up there for about a month now came out at me with a knife saying, go downstairs, go downstairs. And she's holding it like this. There's a guy up on the stairs upstairs. Hands up! Hands up! Hands up, hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up now! Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. He's the one that was wrestling on the ground over here? They were upstairs on the porch. He tried to push me. Turn around. Face away from the side of my boys. Hey, hey, Luke. Keep your hands up. Stay there right now. Hold on. Hey, come down right here. Help me stand this guy. Hey. Hey, stand on up. We got you. We got you. We got you. What's your first name? Burl. Hey. Hey, look, man. Come on, y'all. not going to. Yes, sir. Okay. And then they came upstairs and harassed my roommate 
and they hit my girl with a broom, bro. I swear, like they come. Who hit your girl with a broom? Um, Ashley hit my girlfriend with a broom. Okay. And um, bro, like um, Chad, he come up there starting like, don't touch my girl, don't do this. Honestly, all right, look, Chad and his wife Ashley was, you know, aggressive. So yeah, man, like I'm not lying, I swear, man. Like, honestly, um, Ashley out and. I'm sorry. All right, just relax. All right, the reason why we're here is because there was a knife involved, and they say that you had a knife. Are you injured from this disturbance at all? Yes, my f head, because she was Who hitting me with a broomstick tonight. Yeah. Who hit you with a broom? Ashley, and that's why. She hit you with a broomstick tonight? Like, just before you ended up with the knife. Do you right. want to feel my f All right, do me a favor. Stand up. You, have any, you don't have any weapons on you, do you? All right, stand up for me. I got you. I, I got you. I went to see you. And you should not Stand up. Here, what's going on between right. other people? Put your, put your feet apart for me. Where's your head hurt? Right side. Your right side? Right here? Um, up yeah. more, up well, more. Well, I feel up, a bump right here. And all around. That's what happened. And that's why I grabbed Did I tell her to get the go? Okay. All right. Okay, so Ashley grabs a broom, and she admits to swinging it at the female with the knife. I don't think her action with the knife was unreasonable, yeah, considering what was happening. Yeah, I agree. All right, Ashley, here's the deal. When you swung that broom at her, you clocked her head. She's got some pretty good knots up on her head. She had to get looked at by rescue, okay? So I'm going to jail? Yep, so I need you to turn around and put your hands behind Can her back. Can I say goodbye to my kids? I need you to turn around and put your hands behind her back. Here, just... Yeah. Girl getting arrested? Yes. Thanks. I'm sorry. Is she getting arrested? Because she pulled a knife on me, and that's not right. She's allowed to pull a knife on me. We'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more, but no, but no, to be honest with you, she's not. Jesus okay. Christ. Thanks, Mom. I'm sorry, babe. How much does it cost to get me out? On my wedding day, I get to go to jail. All right, girl. Go ahead and have a seat for me, sir. Ow, ow, Sometimes it's ow. easier if you sit sideways. Ow. I'm a big guy. You me. are a big gentleman. Jimmy card beat up real. Would you like me to help you back out to reattempt this? No. No, you got it. Ah. Fantastic. Unfortunately, things got out of control. Alcohol was obviously a fact. But the problem is when the disturbance ends up upstairs inside her apartment. It started out as a weapons call, ends up being three people going to jail, one person being issued and released. I'm the first person in my family to get into law enforcement. I was taking criminal justice courses. I was interested in criminal law. In uh, one of my classes, uh, one of the deputies uh, from the sheriff's office came down and talked about this program uh, called Explorers Program. Uh, they said it was new. Uh, I ended up joining. I ended up doing a ride along and I fell in love with it. I just knew this is what I wanted to do. There's a suspicious vehicle that just pulled into this truck stop up here. This truck stop's known for uh, high drug activity and prostitution. And uh, they pulled up to the back. Uh, so we're going to figure out what's going on and uh, get the occupants out of the vehicle. 3 North 29 at 2929 US 90. Check in. Hey, what y'all up to? Why'd y'all come in the back? Rick's turning around. Go back to front with your glasses. The glasses are pulled back. up. Okay, who's in the back seat? Hi, right, who's the P vehicle belong to? My sister. Your sister? You got an ID on you? No, my wallet got stolen. Your wallet got stolen? Yes, it did, like two years ago. All right, so you don't have no ID? No. Okay, right, come over to my car so I can run you. Hey, stay right here. I'm putting me in your car. Do you have ID on you, bud? How do you know him? Uh, we just, when I moved down here, I became homeless. That's your ID? Oh, no, I'm sorry. And that's what we came with. How long has he had the car? As long as I've known. All right. Do you have any weapons on you or anything? I have I'm a knife in my front right pocket. All right. Just check you. Man, what you reaching for? Oh, I'm just trying to find a big All right. Just keep, keep your head, hands up where I can see Okay. Yeah, I'm still buying my piece. What'd y'all come to the store for? Just on the train. Okay. Out for a little bit, watch the TV. Y'all got, got any meth on y'all? No, no. No, no meth? Did y'all come up here for that? I know what this place is for. Look, look, look. I know all about this place. Here. You didn't know she was a boss. No. She just gets in your car. She has a husband. She has a husband. They fight a lot. They're fighting. Okay, so she just gets in the car and brings this with her. She brought all kinds of stuff with her. All right, I'm gonna hang on to this. He said you've already been arrested for unauthorized use of motor vehicle, and he said that's your sister's car. She bought it two days ago. She bought like two, three, something like that. 
accept that as possession of methamphetamine in what's called a trace case. So now what we're looking for is either a blue or purple color on the the Q-tip here. And as you can see, there's enough methamphetamine in it that the liquid, all of the liquids actually turn in that purple color. So that's going to be a positive test for, for methamphetamine. Okay, where are you going to go? I just want to go home. And he's well, get you home. Just don't go off with strange men you don't know in the middle of the night because that's how people go missing and get hurt. It's not a venom and I'm scared of So when we saw the syringe, you started yelling that it was yours and not your buddy's over there. Right? Is that true? Yes, sir. And your buddy over there had no idea. You threw it down, had no idea. They didn't even know I had it. Okay. We've been looking for him. So, I mean, he had no idea that I had it. That's right. just the nature of the drug, I guess. Being selfish and greedy and want to have it for your own, you know, not let someone know that. You know you're under arrest now. Yes. So, I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. Yeah. Now, just to satisfy our curiosity, will y'all come up here to find us? No, sir, we weren't. No, we weren't. Okay. We don't even have money for anything. All right. We have nothing in the car. All we have, like, I just lost every position. Thank you for taking me to jail. I'm starving to death. I'm freezing cold. You know what I'm saying? I mean, All right. we don't have money for food or fuck. I don't even have cigarettes. I have nothing. So... Well, we're going to transport you, get you fed, get you warm, okay? Get you clean for at least a little bit, okay? 132 in Bush, I got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code 3. Okay, 2514, can't transmit on tag 2. 1047, 1047, can't visit on 4368. Viewer discretion is advised. It's from Pam, got hired by the Sheriff's Department, and I'm working graveyard now. Uh, which I really enjoy. It's nice working the night hours where you're getting a lot of in-progress crime. Uh, you know, it's a great opportunity to serve the community when, when most folks are sleeping and uh, it's quite a bit of action. Taking off on him. We're gonna try to get in position here. We can check right behind him. We've got a red light coming up. He's gonna be southbound on the Ave. Southbound on the Ave. Front military, wrong lane of travel. Copy. Southbound on the wrong lane from the Ave. Front military. Front. 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 Front.
What'd she say when she saw like all the deputies? Was she freaking out? Yeah. She... What about all the like the stop sticks and she stuff? She started like that? screaming. With the stop sticks? She was. She was driving good. I'll give her that. Okay. Sit tight. So I got some bad news. Wendy told us you were driving the car. And She's you, lying. And you were running because you had warrants for your arrest. Well, it wasn't. That's what she told us. She said that. She's Look at me. Are you kidding me? I was praying in the backseat the whole time. Okay. No. No. That, that's a lie. I, I'm, I'm believing that's a her. Lie. Not in the front seat. Why well, when we saw you in the front seat. Oh, All right, so right now, right now, your charges are assault one for trying to run over the deputy in the field there. I didn't and do this. I didn't. I'm being honest. So well, I've been with the police officer here in Austin 25 years. I've come to learn that as long as I've been here, I know that I helped a lot of that needed the assistance that they couldn't have gotten from anybody else. In that sense, it's been very satisfying for me. Okay, I'm going to initiate a traffic stop on this vehicle. It, uh, it's obvious that it's been involved in a crash. I got him lit up. Henry four five. I got a black Chevrolet pickup. It looks like he might have hit a vehicle down the street. There's pieces falling off the front end, so uh, we're going to try to stop this vehicle before it uh, creates any more damage here on the street. Stop your vehicle! We got us a problem here, all right? You know you hit something, right? Yes, I do. What did you hit back there and where? Uh, I, uh, they, they, they basically braked on me and I had to break behind them. Who braked on you? Okay. I'm dropping his car to the house. My car's there yeah. on airport, and then he'll drop me back home. Okay. Because you come. The grandpa. The grandpa. He has some habits for me, so that's where I was coming from. Okay. I was gonna drop his car off, and then he was gonna take me home. Okay. On my car. My car is at his house. And you say this is not your truck, right? No, it's his truck. Okay. All right. Just give me a minute here. Yeah. She hit a Capital Metro bus and apparently took the side out of it. This vehicle has got complete front end damage. Seems like non drivable, but it was driving. And also, we have two small children in the vehicle. Having a hard time with your seatbelt? Yeah. Well, how'd you put it on? No, I had double wrapped. Why would you double wrap a seatbelt? So I'm going to jail tonight. I gotta call my dad if he's okay. in my car. Oh. I don't think the vehicle is going to go any further. And we got EMS checking on the two children because of the extent of damage on that vehicle. I'm not sure whether she was drinking alcohol or not, so we're going to find out what all we got. We were not getting any indicators that she was consuming alcohol, but it's obvious she has a, a lot of marijuana residue in the vehicle. Well, there's two bags of marijuana in the diaper bag? The diaper bag out of all things. Yep. Be honest with me. No, no, I'm gonna be honest. I, I smoked a blunt earlier than me. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. How early was that? Mm, maybe about 9.30 before I went to work. 9.30 what, a.m., p.m.? P.m. Okay. And uh, we got someone at home coming for the children. My dad. Your dad? So how you doing? I'm trying to locate her. Oh. I want you to see the front end of the vehicle. This is how she was driving. Yeah, and she's got some children in the back. Well, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. This is how she's driving the vehicle, and I'm trying to pull her over, okay? And, of course, she's got a marijuana in the diaper bag. She's got marijuana in the console. We do know that she was involved in two separate leaving the scene accidents. She hit a cat metro bus. She flips them off and just drives away, and she hit three additional vehicles that are on Burton, just so you know, okay? This one she went to rehab. I'm always on, man. Yes, Dad. I never listen to you. I always is the hard way. You know, I pay my bills, though. Those are going to be paid now. Oh, they're going to be paid now. If you don't want to help me, somebody else will help you. I ain't going to say I'm not going to help you. Don't be all those dentists. You don't got to have to help me. Okay. So I'm going to jail right now? Okay. All right, sir. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate your cooperation. You know. Uh, you guys feel about it? Right.
Okay, good. She got her degree. She got an award. I was proud of her. I don't always award. have your help, Dad. You got a lot of other stuff going on. All right, sir. Thank you. All right. Have a good night. Desiree. Some one is what? Um, if I can get the old man to pay for it, then the... Who's DWI? But I'm not drinking. My, my, my thingy wasn't even, uh... I, I understand. You're high on some kind of... Oh, you're, weed. You're high on weed. Okay, it's the same thing. The charge but would be the same. The Plus, thing is, you had children. I got an older man that's going to pay all my warrants off. Yeah. My, my yeah. last is going to be... My, my, my concern is my kids can't live without me. Okay, well, Desiree, if they can't live without you, why are you driving around uh, in, high on drugs, high on marijuana? Uh, you were involved in an accident that we know of at 6 o'clock, four, about four or five hours ago, you hit a bus, right? You do remember that? Yes. Did you, were your children in the car then? Uh, no, they were in daycare. Oh, okay, well, luckily they were in daycare. But they were in the vehicle when you hit these three other vehicles that were parked on Burton. Now, don't worry about your children. They're in good hands right now, I believe. You're going to jail, you're being charged with DWI, and you're being charged with child endangerment, by the way. I understand that. But Desiree, what Desiree, no, no, Desiree. Why that stay off? He said he'll pay it for me. Those are, you got traffic warrants. Why are you worried about paying traffic Those warrants? Those are all traffic warrants. Okay, I'm trying to tell you what you did today. Yes, sir. And I don't think you're, you're, you're not. You're worried about somebody paying off traffic citations, yes. and you say you're worried about no, the kids. No, it's a warrant for the death. Okay, well, yeah. you, okay. you may want to look at some counseling or something, because I think you need it. The one word that totally encapsulizes what this job is to me is honor, and that is you have to have a certain level of honor to do this job in the first place, but... The reason why I do this job is to honor my little brother who was killed as a result of a, a drunk driver, to honor Jesse Valdez who was killed by a woman high on methamphetamine, uh, you know, to honor all those law enforcement officers who've come before me who's lost their life doing this. All right, we got this car ahead of us. It doesn't have a license plate light. We're going to go ahead and make a traffic stop, just let them know it's out. Sir, to be down with Harris County Sheriff's Office. Hey, the reason why you're being stopped tonight is your uh, license plate light is out. Okay. You got your driver's license insurance on you? I don't have my license with me. I got a Pennsylvania driver's license number. Okay, you don't have it with you? No, Do you sir. have insurance on you? Uh, she has her insurance. She's had an operation stuff. That's the only reason why I'm driving. Okay, where y'all coming from? I, I just got off work. I worked down at the Valero. And we just rode up here by the lake, and then we was coming back down here to her house. Until we get you identified, I'm going to have you step out, okay? Some, okay, something ain't making sense about your story. You told me she just had surgery. Y'all yes, went sir, up to the she, lake. What y'all go up to the lake for? We, we just drove up by there because she wants to go fishing. Who is she to you? She, she's just like a real good friend is all she is. A real good friend? I call her mama. All right. Hi, Bob. Do me a favor. Keep your butt on the push bumper, okay? We're going to go talk to her. Okay. All right, keeping your voice down, what are y'all doing out here? I picked him up at Blair. He works there. Then he had a car to work. I said, Mom, go ahead and work the car. I'm not for you. And I was like, here we're going to go. All right, why is he telling me y'all are coming from the lake? We, we're both down to the lake. We turned around and come back. I just took him to take a ride out of the lake because I slept all afternoon. And I ain't tired. Okay. So just make sure you ain't got no guns on you, okay? No weapons. All right, you stay right here, okay? Go anywhere. What's your name? Janet Alma. Alma or Janet? Janet. Janet? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Janet. Yeah. When was the last time weed was in this car? And that's what? what? Last time you had weed in this car. Weed? Yeah, I'm seeing. I don't crumbs. smoke weed. Well, somebody had weed in your car because there's crumbs of it in the door handle. Wasn't me. It might be an animal. It wasn't me. Okay. Wasn't me. Yeah, I'll take a drug test. I don't do weed. Tell you what, go place your hands behind your back. You're going to be detained right now just because there's two of y'all and one of me, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn around, place your hands behind your back. You're being detained at this time, okay? Just because I'm finding uh, marijuana residue in the car. I do my good marijuana, sir. Okay. Now, besides that, am I going to find anything else? 
Should I say leave a pipe or anything in there? There we go. What kind of pipe would what kind of pipe would she have left in there? Probably a crack pipe. Crack pipe? Where would it be? Where would it be if there was? If it was, it would probably be under the seat. You saying it was her crack pipe? Yes, sir. Are you a dishwasher at Valero? Yes, sir, I am. You are? Is that why you have the Brillo? Yes, sir. You know I'm being facetious, right? You know that I know, I, I'm being... because I use that for crack pipe. That's right. And that's... And everything else. Okay. All right, y'all hang tight. Don't go anywhere. Yeah. Here we go. And it looks like there's going to be a lot of residue on the inside of it. And that's going to be a, a good little trace case for us. What's going on? Hey, Sarge, I pulled this car over on a tag light. He doesn't have an ID with him, so I have some stuff out so I can get my ID. Their stories didn't match. He says he works at the Valero. She's saying that he picked him up from Valero. She, he's saying that they came from the lake. She, she's saying he's, she's there just running around. I asked if there was anything illegal in the car or would be anything illegal. He's claiming that uh, Shay Shay may have left. Shay Shay, so. So you don't think Shay Shay left this? No, sir. So do you think he left it? Yep. In Harris County, if they're caught with any amount, no matter if it's residual, what people would call residual amounts, they can actually be charged with it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to um, test the inside of the pipe by swabbing the inside and, and using a cocaine test kit. All right, you're in care, custody, and control of that crack pipe. Okay, you're sitting above it. Any residue of a controlled substance, such as cocaine or methamphetamine, if I can test it and it tests positive for it, you can be charged for possession. Okay. Okay. So I'm looking for a flash of blue, okay? See that blue blue color, Jimmy? Mm -hmm. That's a positive test for cocaine, okay? All right, walk that way, bud. Pat him down more thoroughly. All right, right ma'am, I'm gonna let you go. Appreciate your cooperation, okay? You understand that you easily could have been charged with that. I this is your car, right? You need yeah. to think about who you let in your vehicle. Because this this could have went totally a different way. You could have been the one in the handcuffs. Yeah, can you make sure my car is on start? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead and try to start it up. I don't want to say I'm going to try to do it. You have the damn lights on. All right, I got jumper cables. Suspect one minute, distressed motor set next. Viewer discretion is advised. About two years now. Next month will be my two-year mark. Uh, what I enjoy about it is being out and about. I'm not a behind-the-desk type of person. I did 20 years in the Marine Corps, but law enforcement was always in the back of my mind. So when I retired out of the Marine Corps, uh, this was this was what I wanted to do. All right, we're en route to a domestic dispute between a brother and a sister. It's just down the road here. Uh, the brother is trying to get back in. He's a 46-year-old white male, and he's, uh, the sister says she can hear him at the front door. He's trying to break down the door. He's got a crowbar in his hand. So we'll see what we've got when we get here over here in just a second. 585 County, last call. 585. Yeah. I think he's down there with the door open. Uh-huh. But, um, yeah, that's where he's staying, and he's busted both of my locks, my front door and my back door. So, anyways hasn't been here for two months. I like put a, um, an order against him uh -huh. and I dropped, I, I told the judge that I, I dropped it because he's got severe mental issues uh -huh. and he's drunk and he's drunk. He drinks every day. He's an alcoholic and he takes medication. And so anyways, um, I do have his stuff here and I told the judge that all I want is his stuff out. And, and the judge goes, do you, do you understand that Mike? And, he, and he's like, yeah, I have no other choice. And okay. so, and the officer last night said, if you, if you stay here, I'll arrest you. Okay. So, he, he watches every move I have here, here, and it's like he's been living there, so he knows. Is that him right there? Yeah. Hey, come here. Stop. I said stop. I just said, what are you doing on me, man? Turn around. No. Turn around. What? For what? You're being detained for investigation. Turn around. I ain't turn around. For turn around. No, you have to tell me why I'm being detained. I just can't. You're being here. detained for investigation. Turn you around. I'm not going to ask you again. No, you have to tell me why. Because you're, there's an investigation. Why? Of you breaking and entering 
on your sister's place over there. Take your hands out of your pocket. No. Take your hands out of your pocket. No. Don't touch me, man. Turn around. That's where I live. Turn around. Don't touch me. Turn around. That's where I live. I said turn around. No. That's where I live, bro. I said turn around. That's where I live. Turn around. That's where I live. Okay, you're gonna go down on the ground. No, I'm not. Ready? You're gonna shoot me. Ian, I... Oh. Okay. The whole world. Get both of your hands out. Okay. What? What the hell's going on? Oh, wow. So... I didn't do nothing. So... No, I don't hurt. Oh, my leg hurts. My leg hurts. My leg hurts. Don't manhandle me, dude. You better slow your roll, bro. Okay. I didn't do anything. I lived there, man. It's ten years. Just two months that you didn't live there in the camps. Yeah. No, not going. I didn't do anything wrong. You gotta tell me what I'm being charged with for a car. We already told you. You're not stupid. Trespass I didn't do anything wrong. No, I didn't trespass when my ID says I live there. Get in the car. How is that trespassing when my ID says I live there, dude? Have a seat. No, I didn't do nothing wrong. Get in the car. Have a seat. No, I don't want to get in the car. Okay. Get in the Make me get in the car. Yep. <laughs> Goddamn car. Thank you. Down. Let me up. God damn. I didn't do nothing wrong. I just want to see my dog, dude. That's your dog? Yeah. Okay. So what happened today? I didn't go in the house today. I didn't go in the house today. So what? what... I just want to see my dog, dude. I, I got that, man. I can That's understand my that. my dog, dude. What, what did you do? I don't know. I was trying to knock on the door trying to get into that keys. I thought I had keys. I didn't do anything wrong. Did you break some locks? No. I've lived there forever, dude. Now my keys are right here. When did you move out? She told me to leave like two months ago. What'd your sister kick you out for? Well, you won't believe me, but... Try me, come my on. My mom says menopause. But, you know, I've been there forever, dude, and I know I wasn't doing nothing wrong, dude. I just want to see my dog, bro. I didn't do nothing wrong. Okay. I didn't do nothing Hey, when I asked you to turn around, turn around, why'd you... I was mad you... because I didn't do nothing wrong. That's why. Okay, but she's saying that, she, that you had like a crowbar. No, I had a little tiny bar. I mean, like a little screwdriver. But my keys are right here because I just wanted to see my dog. You want to Man, see your dog? It hurts me. It hurts me, dude. What, what were you using like the screwdriver crowbar for? Try again, I guess. Me an idiot. Okay. All right, well, just sit tight for a minute. We just don't get along, but I felt sorry for him because I didn't want him on the streets. And, you know, here I've, like, let him stay with me for so long, and he takes advantage of me. So I'm just getting sick of it, you know? It's like I come home, and the house is a wreck. He doesn't do anything, and it's like, you know, my, my stuff is being destroyed. Yeah. So, and... Completely understandable. And, you know, and I, I give him everything. It's like he had a computer to use during the day, and it's like he had a cell phone. So, Can I see the damage? So he's busted both my locks, and I just had the locks changed. Okay. Do you think I could show him his dog real quick? Rascal's crazy, and he bites him. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, buddy. It's okay. Hey. It's okay. It's okay. You want to come with me, buddy? It's okay. You can hold him if you want. Yeah, but just be careful. He's got long... Oh. Ow! Oh, my God. Ow! Rascal, it's okay. Rascal, you're all right, buddy. I feel bad because he should not be going to jail. Yeah, fortunately he has to. So I'm going to give him a last chance to see his dog before uh, he ends up going to jail. Hey, Michael, just want to give you a chance to see your dog real quick. Like, no. I didn't do anything wrong, dude. Okay, so you're trying to use a screwdriver to force it open? No, I didn't know that. I had my keys right there, dude. Just don't take me to jail, please. I'll just f***ing bail, dude. I'll just walk way far away, dude, please. Okay. I can't do it. Do you want to say goodbye to your dog? Dude. All right. <laughs> Rascal. Love you, baby. Don't take me to jail, please. All right. Please. You can't do this to me, man. I can understand you miss your dog. Uh, recently found out I was going to be a father again. Got a new family coming. A two-year-old, another one on the way. Makes you appreciate the little things in life. Makes you kind of take a step back see the bigger picture and enjoy the the time that you get to spend with your family when you're not here at work. 4301 dispatch, I'll take that call, Riceboro and Jackson. Uh, we're uh, assist crime suppression with a traffic stop. Um, please request another unit for a search of a vehicle. Yes, sir. Where's it at? Oh, oh, oh. 
Where is it at? It's probably. I can smell it. Where is it at? It's in that bag. In which bag? The bag of the floorboard over there? I don't know, man. You don't know where it's at in there? No. Did you put it in there? Yes, sir. I mean, there's a joint. It's a big joint. Okay. All right. Give me a favor. Have a seat right here, Paul. Sit down. What all do you have in there? Uh, it's marijuana. How, how much? It's not uh, a whole lot. It's a no, okay. You bought it, right? Uh, so you should know how much it is. It's, um, uh, that's okay. I'm going to jail, all right? Sure, have you been honest with him? Sir. Have you been honest with him? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've been honest. Well, how with much him. is in there then? Uh, it's a grinder. There's a little bowl in there, and there's a pipe in there, and there's probably a grinder get you in jail. That's the marijuana right there. And it's all bagged up differently. I know that it looks like intended to distribute, but it's not. Whose bag is it? The book bag is my mother's. It's your mother? I'm not, I'm not saying it's, it's not my bag. I'm saying I was using the bag. But, you know, it's just not. Hey, what about all these pills in here? Those are my mother's. Your mother's pills? Yes, sir. You got They're in the same bag that your marijuana's in. And she had her Xanax in there. Where's her prescription at? It's on her person. She has it, sir. Pulled him over for a uh, traffic violation. His window is busted right from the driver. As soon as I stop the car, you can smell the odor of marijuana. And a whole variety of pills there. There's Xanax in there and all kinds of different painkillers. And there is a breath mint box. In the 17 years I've been doing this, I can't see I've ever ran across anybody that their marijuana individually packaged and each one of the packages have individual prices written on the bag but i guess it's the first time for everything hey david i, I know you said this is your mom's backpack it's, back. mom's backpack. it's fine it's my backpack my mom uses it from time to time okay to put her meds in and i forgot to mention the pills and, and i that's okay. that was not something i do me a favor push your hands back you stay seated he said he does have prior pill convictions. I, I'm not trying to be a drug eater right now. I'm, I'm really trying to take care of a family. Well, I mean, if, if you're trying to take care of a family, why in the world would you I have all that mess? I, I, I should have even thought about cleaning it out before I went anywhere. But I, dude, I know, but you put the stuff in there. Not all of us was put in there by me, man. <laughs> but that's okay. I, I do take responsibility for the pot. Okay. So you're trying to take care is when you put individually packaged well marijuana inside the car i'm really trying to make it I, I just didn't think about it i was being a dumbass excuse my language sir i was being a dummy and i dude i i really didn't realize that have you smoked recently no sir i smoked it was about 12 o'clock okay and i did smoke it but like i didn't hear it twice and you I said you weren't going to sell time. this but the price This, this price too. Uh, my my friend Nick, he was, he was living over there off 
from Warren Scott Road. Does, does he know a lot about the prices of, of marijuana? Yes, sir. Okay. And then you thought if you asked him, you kind of know what it was worth? Well, I mean, I didn't really care how, how much it was worth, but I, I cared how much the bags would look like. I, I'm just, I kind of like to be a little creative. Sure. Well, here's, here's the thing. If you're going in for uh, possession of marijuana with intent to distribute, you'll probably have at least two different charges of possession of uh, prescription medication without a prescription, okay? With intent, that means I serve years. Correct. But, David, I, I know you say you try to do the right thing, man, you, but you got to make better decisions than this. You really do. So, I mean, you're a grown man. Yeah, you know the difference between right and wrong, and obviously you knew this was wrong before you started riding around with narcotics in your car. One of my biggest pet peeves is when you see parents that have younger children and instead of saying hi most of the time, you'll hear them tell their kid, you better be good or he's going to take you away. And it's not something that we want children to think of when they think of law enforcement or see a guy in uniform. We want them to know that they can always come to us if they ever need help because that's what we're here for. So right now we're going to a domestic in progress. A female had messaged her friend on Facebook and said that her wife or girlfriend was throwing a frying pan at her or something like that. So we'll see what's going on. Sheriff's office. Hey, how you doing? Did you contact? Come out from behind the door. What's going on? Okay, where's your wife at right now? She's sleeping now? Okay, what happened with all this right here? She hit me. Okay. You need uh, an ambulance or anything like that for any injuries you have? No. Okay. And she's in there sleeping? Yeah. Okay. What's her name? Mara. Are there any weapons? No. Mara. Door? Wake up. It's the sheriff's office. Why? I'm here to talk to you about what's going on. What? Um, uncover your... Are you naked out of there or are you dressed? No, I'm dressed. Okay. What's going on right now? Sit up for me. I'm sleeping. Okay. Did you get into an argument or a fight with your uh, girlfriend? My wife. Your wife? Really? I was sleeping. Get up. Let's go. Let's come out here and let's talk. I'm sleeping. Let me ask you this as well. The frying pan that's on the bed, is that the one that she hit you with, you know? Does she always sleep with that or something? Or is that just in there? It was, on, it was on the floor. She hit me with it. Yeah, it's in the bed now. It's like... I know, it was... she took it with her. Okay. Mara, don't talk to her right now. Go, go stand outside and talk to that deputy. What's going on? Let me see. Go stand outside. Mara, go outside. Let me see your arm. So this mark on the inside of your arm, was that she from the pan? Me. No, it wasn't with the pan. She hit me. With a fist? Yeah. Okay, so that's a fist. What's this mark on your uh, shoulder? I don't know. I don't remember. And when did this happen? Yesterday. It happened yesterday? Yes. All right, Mara. She has a bruise on the inside of her arm and her collarbone. Because, what are those from? Because she, we drink a lot and then we get in arguments. Okay. Yesterday, she had too much to drink. Okay. I was, I was not as much as much I had some to drink as well and we had an argument and she started beating me up and I felt that I went in the room I tried to get away we both it's a mutual thing okay why are, why are you sleeping with a frying pan there was a, there's a frying pan in your bed what's up I with that to protect myself okay did you hit her with that yesterday no no sir why is she saying you did I did not hit her with it yesterday was she saying you, you that you hit I her with a frying not. pan I did not it was to protect Okay. Do you have any other injuries that no, I can visibly learned, see? She lured me into the room and she said, come here, we'll talk about it. Come here, we'll talk about it. And she had a knife in her hand and I came into the room and she, and the knife was there and I walked in and she cut me in my hand. And that's how you got that injury? Yes. That was yesterday? Yes, sir. So everything that happened that all happened yesterday? Yes, sir. Well, Mara, this, this is the deal, okay? She has injuries on her and based on what she's saying happened and based on what you're saying happened, okay, you're going to have to be placed evidence all right sir, put, I, put your can hand I no. put my phone back in the house yeah i'll take your phone don't worry about please, it i got sir, it please sir take please your, sir please i your need hand you for back. a treatment center put your hand behind your back please sir please what? sir please sir please sir i didn't mean to hurt her i didn't try to hurt me please hurt me please hurt me please hurt me please hurt me Is 
she contacted a friend who contacted us on her behalf, and that's how we ended up here today. Please, sir. Right. She doesn't Walk want out this way to the car. I don't have shoes on. We'll grab flip flops for you. No, she didn't want this to happen. Listen, in the state of Florida, the victim doesn't have the choice on whether or not someone goes to jail for battery domestic that. violence. Please. Watch your seat, okay? It's going to be easier to sit down first and then put your legs in. Why have a seat. Are you Just doing this have a seat. To me? Mara, have a seat. She Mara, got sit me. down. Mara, sit down. <laughs> put your feet in. <laughs> Kelsey, I wanted to give you the uh, Victims Assistance Program pamphlet. It has all the information on there because you're the victim of domestic violence. So if you open up the, uh, the inside, it's going to have information there. If you don't feel like it's safe to live here, um, you can contact some numbers on there, get some help and stuff like that because you are the victim of domestic violence. They, they offer places to stay and things like that and, and programs. All right. So you have cats? Yeah. All right. Have you noticed how bad the ammonia smell is in here? No. Yeah, you can't smell it anymore? I'll tell you, it's bad. The ammonia smell from the cats, I don't know if they have a litter box or something, but because if the landlord finds out, they're going to end up charging you a lot to try to clean the place up, you know? Oh, 